Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Mac Break Studio. Here we are with you know who <laughs> and me. Uh, we're going to look at motion paths, moving motion paths in motion. Moving motion, ma- uh, blah, blah, blah. moving motion paths in motion and Final Cut Pro. You can move a motion path in Final Cut? Yes, you I can. I mean, you can. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, show kind me. Kind of shocking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's, here's the whole reason is um, often you create animation in motion or in Final Cut because you can do a lot of compositing and animation right in Final right. Cut. Oh, keyframe paths. Keyframe paths. Got exactly. Okay. An animation path that you've keyframed, but then you want to move the whole path. And without it's creating n- another keyframe. Without creating another keyframe. I hate that right. when that happens. Right. Right. Because in both motion and Final Cut, once you've set a keyframe on a, on a parameter, like right. position, uh-huh. move the playhead later in time, when you change the value of position, it automatically sets another so, keyframe. Yeah, it's really annoying. Well, sometimes it's great. Except when, except you, want when it's annoying. Want to, except when you want to move a motion path. <laughs> right. right. Okay. So, so here's yeah. here's what we can do. So I'm going to start in motion here, and I've just got an, uh, a, a little movie clip here, and I want to have, have it fly in the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take its scale down to uh, make it smaller. Okay. And then let's say I want it to come in right about here, after about one second. So I'm going to move the playhead there. I'm going to set a keyframe per position. I'm going to go back to the beginning. And I can, I can hold the shift key down and slide it off to the left. So now if I go play forward over that first second, it slides in. Okay, right. pretty straightforward. Yeah. So I'm going to move forward in time, and I want it to slide out. But I want it to stay still for a little while. So at about three seconds, um, or so, I'm just being rough here. Uh, I'm going to set another keyframe. Now, I'm not going to. Yeah, so I actually need to manually set this keyframe since I'm not changing a value sure. in order to force one being set. So I'm going to manually click the little keyframe button there. And now it comes in and just stays still. And now I go to the end of my little play range there. And again, I'll drag it out of frame. And in fact, sorry, I deselected it there. Uh, I'll just drag on my X property so to I drag like to the right. On the property scrubber. Yeah, I, I generally do. It, it can be a little easier than doing what I just did. Right, so it comes nice. in, sits still, moves yeah. out. Nice. Okay, pretty simple, but that's frequently something that's nice to do, right? Especially if there's some kind of background there. Now the thing is, okay, I want to move this whole motion path. Because you have text up. that you want to be there instead. Yeah. So I want the whole thing to move up. So you think like, oh, I don't have a keyframe in this frame, so I'm just going to drag the whole motion path up. Mm, yeah, yes. and then so what it did is set another keyframe, so now it does that. Um, what's even worse is sort of if you're in the middle somewhere, you're like, oh, I'm just going to drag the whole, you know, I'm not on a keyframe, right? So I'm going to drag the whole thing up, and oh. you get this. This is kind of <laughs> this is kind of cool actually, because it goes there and then it goes up, down, and out. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Well, you might like it, but you might not. <laughs> you don't want it to do, right? <laughs> so here's here's there. There's two ways to fix this, and they're each useful in their own right. The main thing is you want to get it the, the picture out of the way of this keyframe because what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag right on that keyframe, and if the if the clip is in the way, it's hard to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Option and the Command keys together. So okay? two modifiers. Yeah. And they're going to be clicking yeah. on a keyframe. Yeah, and what's going to be a little bit weird when I click on it, this picture is going to jump to it. So I'm holding down Option and Command. I'm going to click on it. Ah, uh, it didn't jump to it. Okay, that's fine. It's keeping um, you guessing today. Yeah, I think it's going to do it in Final Cut. So now, now I can move the whole motion path. You can see that anywhere that's, I want, right? That's nice. So let's say I wanted some text below here, so I wanted it up. Now the whole thing plays right up here. It's a handy keyboard. A handy not a keyboard fire, shortcut, fire right? Enough. Option command. Now, the only thing that's not great about it is it's not very accurate, right? Because when I'm dragging this thing, um, I don't know how many pixels I'm dragging it up. I might be slipping to the left or right a little bit, you know. So it's not. If I hold the shift key down, it does force it to uh, not move an X if I add the shift key. Right. So command you have three option keys. shift. Yeah. Right. But still, and I can I can read if you look at that top left corner, yeah. um, maybe, I don't know if you can zoom in uh, and do this too. <laughs> this will be a little tricky, but we'll see. So command option, drag on this, and if I add the shift key, X is not moving. And we can see the Y. I can see exactly how many pixels. But still, it's a little bit difficult to drag it to somewhere specific. Hence you're gonna show us the other method. So hence the other method, right. So let's just bring this back down. The other method is to take this guy and instead do it in the group. Now if you've got lots of groups, you could put it in its own group. I'm gonna choose object uh, group to put it in its own group. And then what I can do is simply change the position of the whole group. So I can just move this whole thing up. And this way, in well, fact, I like that better. It, it's kind of good because I can use the inspector for the group and say, look, I want to move this up, you know, exactly 200 pixels or whatever, whatever oh, yeah. it is. You know, I can move it a very specific number. And now 
um, I know I'm not going to affect the motion path. And in a way, this is a little easier than trying to command click on a keyframe and everything. Yeah, you I know. think that's a much better way. To yeah, do just throwing Although a group. You, you have an extra, you know, layer in your, you know, right. layers. And you have to create thing. it. So you might, if you're fast, if you want to be fast, you can just grab it. But you can create a group. Now I'm going to switch to mo to motion. I'm going to switch to Final Cut Pro mm -hmm. because it's very, very similar. So in Final Cut Pro, I have, uh, I have the same clip with a. It's actually a connected clip to a little background here from the uh, generators browser. And what I'm going to do is go into the uh, transform here, click the little transform button, and then scale this thing down. I don't need to know any modifier keys to scale right, it down. Final Cut keeps here. the aspect ratio. It just keeps it beautifully, yeah. So let's say again, I'm going to have it set a keyframe about here. So in Final Cut, in the video inspector for position, set a keyframe. Works the same, right? Yeah. And here I'll actually drag left instead of trying to drag on the screen. Right. And that set a keyframe. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that. I want it to stay where it is. I want to move the playhead back to the beginning, or just back to here, let's say, and then drag left. And that will set a keyframe. And create a path. And then and create a path. It zooms in. Let's say I want to stay still to there. So then I'll set a keyframe manually. Go forward a little more in time. And drag an X to move it off to the right. Oh. So, and if I play that back, uh, she slides it's in. work of beauty. And you notice I time that so she looks right at you when it stops. Yeah, I noticed that. It's very nice. Yeah, pretty nice. Of her. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, one thing is I can't, I can't really see where those keyframes are the way you could in motion. So if you choose clip, show, uh, show, blah, 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 show video animation, animation. I, I just use control V. So uh, uh, control V, or let's actually show where it is. Clip. You just had it. Right there. It was there, the high video animation. You Sorry, went right I, just, I went right percent. past it. Yeah, I was yeah. too fast there. So if I do that, we can see those keyframes right there under mm -hmm. the transform little strip there. So um, same kind of thing here. If I want to move the whole thing, I can hold down Option. Uh, well, before I do that, the same issue happens. Let's say I'm right in the middle where it's sitting here, yeah. and I want to move the whole thing up. It's going to create a keyframe. Yeah, and this one's different though. Well, that one's a jacked yeah. up keyframe. Yeah, <laughs> this that one's like this one's a little um, kind of comes in and yeah. does a little whoop. Yeah. Right before it flies out. <laughs> so not, not really what I wanted to do. So by the same token, I'm going to move this out of the way, hold down Option Command. Now, when I click on this thing, watch what happens. She, she jumps right ah. to it. That's, that's what I was thinking of. So now I can move the whole thing, right? That's and gonna, the whole thing moves. going to kind of freak people out. Why is it? Why jumping? jump like yeah. that? But it yeah, works. it just jumps to it. It works. So, At least it's the same modifier set. It's the same modifier set. And you can actually do the same thing that you would do in motion. You know, motion, we put it in a group. Right. So what would be what would be the same idea? A compound as, clip. Yes, a compound clip. So I can choose. <laughs> you got really excited when yeah. I said that. File, yeah. new compound clip. I have her selected. I, uh, I'm just calling it motion path clip. And now she's in a compound clip. So if I take that compound uh. clip and change its position, uh, left or right or up or down, so I'll move it up. And the animation within the compound clip. Yeah, stays, stays the, the same. same. Stays the same. So, uh, and this again lets you be more precise yes. about moving it around. So, you know, pick your poison. You pick the one that you want to use. But whether you're in motion or in Final Cut, there's two different ways that you can you can move your so animation. At least there's path. two ways to do it, and the modifiers are consistent across both apps. Yeah, that's what's kind of nice. And there's a few things that don't work quite the same. You saw where the animation path is a little bit different. Yeah. But Command Option is is the key thing to hold those down when you move it up, and add the Shift key in there right. if you want it to not move left or right. All right. Yeah. So if you need to keep your motion paths where you want them and your sanity intact. <laughs> Those two things that he just showed you will be excellent. <laughs> and also, we have some great motion training at rebeltraining.com that you need to check out. And uh, thank you for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio.